Hey there, how's it going? I'm Gabby Wallace, and this is a Go Natural English lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to answer a question from one of my viewers. The question is, how do you pronounce W-O-R-L-D? This is a great question because that word that you asked me about combines three of the most difficult sounds in English. They're difficult because they don't exist or they're not used the same way in other languages. So let's start with W. So if you speak German, this might be a difficult letter, but we're going to say W. Okay, so your lips come together in a circle, w. And I know the um, temptation is to say v. So with the v sound, your teeth are actually touching your bottom lip. For the w sound, your teeth do not touch your lip. You just round your lips and you say w. Okay? The o, r in the middle of the word. Um, they don't actually sound, well, so the O, let's start with just the O. The O does not sound like an O. It's a trick. Um, the O by itself would normally sound like O. But in this particular word, um, and actually the word, word has the same sound, the O sounds like er, because the R, after the O, actually changes its sound. That's the thing about English pronunciation is that letters or sounds change based on what's around them. It's like when you hang out with different friends, you might act differently. That's the way that sounds work in English. So the O plus the R become er. So again, round your lips. They're kind of puckered out and you kind of sound like a pirate. Er, er, okay? But your lips are even sticking out more. So, er. So try to make your lips do that. And, um, er, your tongue is actually right in the middle of your mouth. It's not touching your teeth. Um, it's just right in the middle. So some English learners have difficulty with the R and the L sound. See, when I'm making um, the L sound, La, la, la. Your tongue actually touches the back of your teeth. So we're going to get to the L sound next, which comes after the R. But let's just think about the O plus the R, which becomes er, just like word. Can you say word? R-O, or sorry, W-O-R-D, word. So the word that one of you asked about, one of the viewers asked about, is not so different from word, but we have to add an L between R and D. That's what kind of makes this a little crazy. So R then to the L. So remember we said R is er, and uh, the L sound, your, your tongue touches the back of your teeth, so l. So let's go from the R to the L. Er all right? And then D, D. That's probably the easiest part, right? So put that all together. We're gonna go slow. World. Awesome. Let's do it again. World. Really slow. Once more. W. R. D. Please don't make fun of me. I'm trying to help. <laughs> all right. Let's speed it up a little bit world. Okay, if you can make each of those sounds separately, now put them together. Now, if you can't do this quickly right away, that's just because you need practice. So don't worry, just keep practicing. World. Awesome. So there's another word that's kind of similar. It has the earled sound. Um, sorry, not the earled, but the earl. That is, well, of course, Earl, like Earl Grey Tea. There's a name, Earl, name of a man. And then there's also a little animal called Squirrel, which is kind of similar to the word world. And it's even more crazy because you have the S-Q-U in the beginning. Squirrel. 
Okay, so if you want an English challenge, try saying there are many squirrels in the world, okay, um, named Earl. Perfect, there are many squirrels in the world named Earl. Wow, that's really weird. Okay, so er is probably the most important sound from these words because it's in a lot of English words like hurt or um, world or what else? Mm, word, squirrel. Okay, I can't think of any other words right now, but I know there are more. All right, guys, I hope that this was helpful. Uh, if you like this kind of online English lesson, you can come to my website and get six free video lessons from my popular course, ESL Troubleshooting, which is a paid course, but I want to let you try six of the video lessons for free. You just have to go to my website, gonaturalenglish.com, and you'll see where you can get those six free lessons there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye for now.